Every year, hurricanes threaten the Atlantic and Gulf coasts of the United States and coastal areas throughout the world. During the hurricane season between June and November, hurricanes typically form in each hemisphere over tropical waters near the equator. Hurricanes striking the eastern United States develop in waters often starting as low pressure zones, migrating westward from the coast of Africa to the Caribbean. The first sign of a hurricane is the appearance of a tropical disturbance. Clusters of thunderstorms form over warm ocean currents of 80 degrees Fahrenheit or greater. Heat and humidity lift from the ocean. Converging winds force air to rise and create lower pressure at the ocean's surface. As warm, moist air rises, it meets the layer of cold air above. Air pressure increases at higher altitudes, which increases wind speed and draws more warm air off the ocean's surface. Cooler, drier air moves downwards to lower altitudes. The Earth's rotation causes moving air to curve, and the storm begins to spin around a center. In the northern hemisphere, the winds veer to the right, and the storm spins counterclockwise. As the wind speeds of the system increase, it takes the distinctive spiraling hurricane shape. At 74 miles per hour, the storm becomes a hurricane. The mature hurricane is nearly circular and symmetrical. The greatest impact of a hurricane is usually felt within what is called the right front quadrant. Here, the winds are strongest, storm surge is highest, and the most tornadoes occur. Inside, the hurricane is a spinning vortex organized in spiraling rings of thunderstorms called rain bands. High winds corkscrew in towards the center, reaching greatest speed and destructive force in the eyewall above the water's surface. Here, wind streams twist around the eyewall as they climb to the top of the storm. The airflow acts as an exhaust, enabling the wind speed to increase and the hurricane to become stronger. Cool air from above sinks into the center of the storm and creates the eye, a calm, clear area 20 to 40 miles in diameter. The hurricane will continue to grow in size and strength as long as it travels over warm ocean currents that provide heat and humidity to fuel the storm. The cycle will only be broken when the hurricane moves over colder waters or passes over a landmass. Without its supply of warm, moist air, the hurricane will dissipate into scattered thunderstorms. 